In recent years, communities throughout the United States have chosen to manage traffic using roundabouts, and they are catching on in Virginia, and you will see them more and more. Hello, I'm Trooper Beach with Virginia State Police, and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce a transportation concept that might be new to some. It's called a roundabout. Simply stated, modern roundabouts move traffic through an intersection without the aid of traffic signals. Compared to signalized intersections, roundabouts have several distinct advantages. For example, roundabouts help decrease vehicle emissions, increase roadway capacity, and improve traffic circulation. But the most significant advantage is safety. Roundabouts reduce the number of serious vehicle crashes because roundabouts reduce the vehicle speed. Although modern roundabouts are not appropriate for all situations, they do provide traffic engineers with another tool to address traffic congestion. So what are the rules of the road? How do we drive through a modern roundabout? And who has the right of way? During the next few minutes, we will answer these questions. In addition, we will see firsthand how roundabouts circulate traffic. But more important, you will learn the proper and safe way to negotiate a roundabout. Please join me for this important look at roundabouts. One of the most important concepts of a roundabout is the yield principle. All vehicles must yield to traffic inside the roundabout as well as vehicles exiting. Drivers should only enter after sufficient space is available to maneuver safely into the roundabout. Defensive driving is appropriate in all situations. Make sure you are aware of other vehicles within the roundabout and be alert to drivers entering and exiting. When approaching a multi-lane roundabout, drivers must choose either the left or right lane before entering. The appropriate lane choice is based on the driver's desired exit or intended destination. For the multi-lane roundabout shown in this video, the left lane allows left turns, straight ahead movements, and U-turns only. Allowable right lane maneuvers include immediate right turns or straight ahead movements. In all cases, signs will direct drivers to the proper lane. Drivers using the left lane have the following options left turns, straight ahead movements, and U-turns. Remember, when driving in the left lane, always maintain your lane position until you exit. Vehicles using the right lane must make an immediate right turn or a straight ahead movement. Remember to maintain your lane position until you exit. For a roundabout to function properly, everyone must follow the rules of the road. As you are about to see, failure to observe these rules will create unsafe conditions for you and other drivers. Before entering, always yield to traffic within the roundabout. Entering without sufficient space will cause an unsafe condition. In this situation, the vehicle in the right lane cuts off the driver in the left lane intending to exit. Be aware of other vehicles in the lane next to you. They may be unaware of your intended exit. Never change lanes while inside the roundabout. This car in the outside lane is attempting an improper U-turn. U-turns are only allowed in the left lane. Some roundabouts are specifically built with truck aprons to accommodate the turning radius of large trucks and trailers. Although truck aprons are provided, Drivers should be aware that trucks may straddle both lanes. That is why it is important to never drive adjacent to or pass trucks while maneuvering through a roundabout. If you follow a truck into a roundabout, do not attempt to pass. When emergency vehicles approach, always give them the right of way. If you have not yet entered the roundabout, pull over to the right, allowing emergency vehicles to pass.
never stop while inside the roundabout. Instead, continue to your exit, then pull over to the right shoulder of the roadway, allowing emergency vehicles to maneuver around you. A roundabout crosswalk functions the same as an unsignalized crosswalk. Before entering the crosswalk, pedestrians should always look in the direction of oncoming traffic, find a gap in traffic, and then cross. Although you have the right of way, forcing traffic to stop suddenly can create unsafe conditions for both you and the drivers entering or exiting the roundabout. Most roundabouts include refuge islands, providing pedestrians with a safe route across opposing travel lanes. Bicyclists are encouraged to use crosswalks by walking their bikes. Only experienced bicyclists should ride through the roundabout. If you choose to enter a roundabout, the same rules of the road apply for a bike as an automobile. Now let's review the key points. As you approach a modern roundabout, remember these basic principles. Yield principle. Yielding to all traffic circulating within the roundabout before entering is the single most important rule. Lane choice. Drivers must make the appropriate lane choices based on their destination before driving through the roundabout. After you enter the roundabout, never overtake other vehicles or change lanes. Slow down. Modern roundabouts are designed for speeds of 20 miles an hour or less. Drivers should be aware of the posted speed limit signs and slow down to safely enter. Large trucks and trailers. Give special consideration to large trucks and trailers. Never pass or drive adjacent to a truck within a roundabout. Driving behind large trucks is preferred. Emergency vehicles. Do not impede emergency vehicles. Pull over to the right if you are not in the roundabout or move through and exit the roundabout to ensure emergency personnel get to their intended destination without undue delay. Pedestrians. Utilize the modern roundabout's refuge island. This allows pedestrians to cross both directions of traffic safely. Bicyclists. Bicyclists should use the pedestrian crosswalk. Only experienced bicyclists should ride through the roundabout. Following these rules of the road will help you drive through a modern roundabout correctly and safely. Thank you for joining me in this informative look at roundabouts. If you want more information about local road projects that include roundabouts, contact your local county, town, or city, as well as your local VDOT office. Thank you for your time. Please drive safely.